First, Dylan, just talk about what it's like to join the Sounders and maybe give a give a, a brief kind of explanation of, of kind of what you're like as a player. Um, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be a part of the Sounders organization. Um, just watching it online, I was so thrilled and thankful that the Seattle Sounders organization um, chose me um, with the draft selection. I'm humbled and honored by that. Um, I'm a left back, originally from Chicago, Illinois. I uh, played my four years at Brown University up in the Northeast. Um, other than that, just looking forward to continuing to improve um, my position and skills with the Sounders organization. Great. Uh, Jeremiah? Yeah, uh, Philip, Philip, I'm sorry. Dylan, <laughs> um, what, what, what can you tell us about uh, your, your playing style? It sounds like you're a pretty athletic player, which we don't necessarily expect to see coming out of uh, an Ivy League school like Brown. Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to – I think I'm a very athletic player. I think I, um, I use my endurance really well. I like to get up and down the line. Um, I really like getting into the attack. Um, from the outside back position, um, but I, I grew up as a center back, so I also take pride in uh, my ability to try and defend. Um, I like to I like the one v one defending battles just as much as the attacking battles, which sometimes you don't see in a fullback. Um, so I pride myself on that as well. Um, so I like to get into all aspects of the game. Um, I really like um, using my pace as well. Um, I ran track in high school. My brother runs track in college, so. Uh, uh, Try and use that as well. I'm getting into the attack. I'm trying to beat players one on one, and also using that um, as an advantage in defense. Um, Great, thanks, that answer your question. Uh, Josh, yeah, it is perfect. Josh Mayers, go ahead. Dylan, uh, how was today for you? And uh, did you ever feel like or wonder if you might not get drafted? Uh, today was. Uh, it was filled with emotions. Um, my dad and I were watching uh, the entire Super Draft, um, so there's just all emotions and nerves and excitement um, throughout the day. Um, and once I heard my name, uh, just, I just felt so much joy, happiness, um, humbleness, um, and thanks from the Seattle Sounders organization um, for um, drafting me. Uh, there was there's always a little doubt that you're not going to get drafted. Um, but I had uh, my interview with the Seattle Founders organization at the MLS Combine, um, and it went very, very well. So I knew that there was, um, there was some hope in their pick um, being me. Um, you never know for certain. Um, so when I when I heard my name, I was absolutely humbled and absolutely thrilled to to continue my soccer career and be a part of this organization. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Don Ruiz. Uh, yeah, uh, Dylan, welcome. Um, a uh, Ivy League diploma tends to give a guy options. Uh, what was your uh, major? Or what do you hope to do with your life uh, in addition to soccer? And was it at all a difficult decision to decide to uh, to try an MLS career before getting on with whatever else comes? <laughs> yeah, um, I majored in biology at Brown University. Um, I was when I when I came to Brown, I had thoughts of becoming a doctor. Um, and that's still in the back of my mind is something that I could potentially do after soccer. Um, but soccer was always my passion. It was always my love. So I, I wanted to give that 100% focus. Um, and as I got older to my junior and senior year, as being able to play pro became more of a, an option and more of a realistic goal, I sort of put all other areas of interest behind and decided to go 100% um, trying to become a professional soccer player. Great. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, John Boyle. Uh, I'm actually good. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody on the line who hasn't asked a question yet? Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back through for, for remaining questions here. Uh, Matt Gask. Bill, I know you were at the uh, the team's combine in Las Vegas. I guess what, what did you think of the competition there? And um, I guess what was your indication from the team at that point uh, as to, I guess, kind of how much they liked you and, and, and maybe what they were hoping to see from you? 
at the MLS Combine at that point? Mm-hmm. The, the Las Vegas Combine was an amazing experience. Uh, I thought the competition was very good. Um, I was lucky enough to go with a, a fellow Brown teammate, so that made it a little bit easier to, you know, to play and get settled in. Uh, but there are a lot of guys from that Las Vegas Combine at the MLS Combine, so that sort of gives you just a little hint of how good the competition was. Um, I thought I uh, I talked to some of the sale coaches after that, and there was uh, there was a little interest. Um, There's definitely some interest in me um, in terms of playing for that organization. Um, and then after I got the um, indication that I would be able to participate in the MLS Combine because I was a late addition. Uh, I knew that it was just another chance that I could go out and show uh, the Seattle Sounders organization and coach uh, and the coaching staff uh, what I could do, and hopefully that that was enough with the Las Vegas Combine to um, help get me drafted. Okay, uh, Jeremiah? Yeah, um, what can you, I mean, we don't, I don't know, a lot of us probably don't see a lot of Ivy League soccer. I mean, how do you think that that, that helps prepare you either or going to school there and, and playing in that league uh, prepares you differently than some of the other guys uh, for the rigors of MLS, you think? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the Ivy League is definitely a different style of play. Um, I think it helps me um, differently than most people in the intellectual aspect of the game. There are a lot of smart kids in the Ivy League, so both the coaches and the players take pride in trying to, you know, outthink a different player um, before we even step on the field. And that's an area that I believe I have improved on dramatically. And do, and I don't know if I was a, I would be able to get that sort of experience from another league. Um, also, the I believe it's a very physical league, which I think is going to help me a lot in the MLS. Um, it's just a bone bruising league. I would say the technique is, as a whole, the league not as great as some of the, the powerhouse leagues like the ACC and the Big East, but the determination um, and the competitive spirit that brings with the Ivy League uh, really helped me in terms of growing as a soccer player. And it helped me a lot as in being the underdog when you play all these big teams. It sort of mentally prepares you um, for both the college game and the MLS um, game as I head into that aspect. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, uh, Josh Mayers? Dylan, I'm not sure if you expected this question, but the uh, the league website has a player profile of you online, and it says that you like to listen to Taylor Swift music before games. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd like to defend yourself on that one. Um, no, that is, that is fair game. Um, yeah, I do like to listen to Taylor Swift before games. Um, I liked her since I was a sophomore in high school, um, when she came out with her first single. Uh, but it actually, for me, it, it sort of calms me down before games. Um, sort of just mellows me out and gets me prepared for the game. It's something that I started as a sophomore in high school and just listening to listening to the music, not only is it her voice, but it's also just the memories and just wearing, knowing where I came from and knowing what I did to get um, to this point. So it's sort of just become a, a tradition um, to just sort of, you know, forget about everything um, and just go out and have fun and play. Thank you. But uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Don, Don Ruiz? Uh, no, I think, well, maybe just one. I guess the odds are against it. Uh, the Sounders uh, have drafted one other Ivy Leaguer, Mike Pasito. I'm wondering if you have ever crossed paths with him uh, anywhere? Um, no, I can't say I have. Um, sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, thanks for your time. I'll see you at camp next week. They asked me to do an ad, and I thought, cool. They want me because I play for the Seattle Sounders. Then I find out it's because my wife told them I'm a good dad. It's even better. For me, being a good father is much more important than soccer. So here's my message. Be a good parent. Stay involved with your kid's life. Do something with them, anything. Take a walk, read a book, maybe go see a Sounders game. We can make it better for our kids by staying involved and showing that we love them.